Okay, wow, it rained here a bit. That's pretty deep. Alright, well, gotta get to the car somehow. And today we're getting the smell out of old car. Or we're, we're getting the old car smell or whatever is potentially in these uh, upholsteries out of the car. What you'll need is a cleaner degreaser and an enzyme uh, cleaner. We're using sporocytin and mean green. We'll also be needing a scrubber brush, nylon, and clean towels. we're going to do just get some of that degreaser on work it in different patterns one way the other way circles Want to work it into the carpet and get your rag this is the stuff we're getting out so we're going to work on that through the whole So one of the key fobs on the Sienna is not working. Now the unlock the lock button works and the side door button works, but the unlock doesn't, which means it's not a battery issue. So what you could do is get any flat object, kind of just pry that open. Stay. And it shows you the inside. Now, what often happens is these terminals get crudded up somewhere by ran random dirt that gets into it. So what you do is you take 90% osteoporotic alcohol, and just get a little bit of it onto the tip of a Q-tip. Now, I personally like to take the battery out just in case. And I went and cleaned off all the areas that I found gunk just kind of stuck around this terminal. Just lightly wipe it off. And what happened is this is all the stuff that came off. There's a lot of crud there. And what was happening was short circuiting this circuit somewhere. So when I went and put it back in and I actually just tried it at the car, it now, it now unlocks, works just fine. So that's a one little quick and easy step for you if your only one key is not working, you can clean it with 91% isopropyl alcohol, wait for it to dry, and it might work again. All right.